Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. As you can see, today I have a bit of a different setup. I'm standing in front of a white wall, but you can still see this door and this door. Yeah, there's not enough space for just an empty background. I have chosen this setting today because I have a package that I want to unpack with you guys. And therefore, yeah, I need some free hands to unpack it and show you what it is. This package is actually from France. So it had a long trip to reach this point, but it is the only option to get the stuff that I want. And before we unpack that, however, I want to talk about yeah the last weeks because as you have seen on the latest video, I have done the how fast can you drive in reverse with a Tesla video. If you have seen the video, you have also noticed that I was on an abandoned airfield in Sweden. It was really a curious situation that I ended up at that location. I knew about the location, but it was not planned to go there. I have done like a big camping trip. You will also see about this in a future video. I have of course recorded everything, but as you also know with the Norway video, it takes time and I am, to be honest, also not really good right now to keep working on this stuff. But they will be coming. What happened besides my camping adventure on the weekend? Well, last week during work, I was cleaning the loft, our area that we have to this really a mess for at least three days. So we really got a lot of progress done, but we're still not finished. And then during the last days of the week, of last week, I got kind of pulled away from that because it's not priority. It's really like the project you do when you have nothing else to do. So I was doing a lot of documentation and it just came the way like I, yeah, I predicted that it's not going to be just cleaning and then we're done with it. So today I was actually cleaning a bit again in the loft we had a forklift coming to get the stuff down from the loft because it is so much stuff that is so heavy it is just taking too much strength and time to walk down the stairs all the time so we just put it on the forklift and they drove it off to the areas where we wanted to and yeah and that was tuesday so today and yesterday there was also a bit more documentation so nothing too crazy. Outside of work, I was actually playing some board games with work colleagues on last Wednesday. We were playing Catan or the Settlers of Catan, how it was called before. And then we were playing also Terraforming Mars. And that was a game that was pretty long because I have never played the game. And also I think three other people that were with me didn't play it. And only one person who brought the game had knowledge. And then we started playing the game at 7 p.m and we were finished at like 11 p.m. and we were not planning to work that long. I also didn't have any food for the next day. So I was, when I came home at 11.30, basically I was just doing like some ramen and then I was like, okay, I'm going home, put the, the lunchbox with just the ramen in and said like, yeah, we'll be fine. I will survive the lunch tomorrow. But that was the biggest highlight during the week. And like I said, the camping trip on the weekend, I also went swimming of course during my camping trip but also on the day before so the friday because this weekend was most likely the warmest weekend that we have left this year it was i think 23 24 degrees so pretty warm here at least in the area yeah i really really now know that my future hobby that i'm going to have is ice bathing like i really want to go swimming every single week and continue to slowly feel how the water is getting cooler and cooler and cooler until it's frozen and I'm still swimming. Like, of course, not like five kilometers long, but like taking a dip, taking the coldness in and not getting knocked out basically. So that is my goal and I'm really looking forward to that. So let's now talk about this nice thing from France. Let's just open it. And then you will see, I also still have no idea if it's the perfect stuff that I want, but you will understand. Oh, nice wrapped, nice. The magic now, oh. There we go. I have ordered, oh, wrong way. I have ordered two shirts. And the story behind shirts is actually most of the time, that I think like 
I don't know. Like I love, I love crazy shirts. I have this from my father. Like he wears crazy shirts all the time. But usually I'm like a guy who just wears t-shirts and not the nice kind. But sometimes I have like this, how do you say? Sometimes I just feel like I want to wear, wear something nice again like this and then i was like going through their website and i found like wow they look really cool okay this is this is way more purpley than i expected you will you will see it unwrapped on me and this one is also pretty nice because i don't know if you can see it it's like a lot of cameras on here so well i would say this time to do some changing because as, as you might can see right now i'm wearing yeah lazy pants and this well lazy t-shirt so let's put some pants on and then let's put some shirts on. So first the pants. Ah, wonderful. Okay, so there they are. Nice. That's fitting really good now to some darker color shirts. But which one do we do first? I think we do this first. I'm a bit skeptical to be honest, but I was kind of feeling it. So now let's put on the first shirt then. Okay. Nice, nice. I actually have to say it looks better on me than when I just look at it right now from the front. Of course, I cannot really see myself in that small little screen there. But I think at least from the top down perspective, I like it. If I can, I see anything there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of like it. It really gives me like this vibe of you're going in the 90s, you're going to a disco party, like. Doo, 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 doo. Love it. Okay, okay. Now, of course, we have the other one left. I hope you even understood me the whole time because I had my microphone on and it was laying on the table. Well, that unfortunately magic could not hinder. But now we will see. Therefore, of course, I place my microphone here and it will stay here now for the next and the last magic of this video. Okay, so I definitely have not just waited like 15 minutes because my camera has died. I waited to wait to charge. And of course I put this new shirt on. No, no, no. But now I have it. And actually I have to say this is pretty cool. Like I was already looking in the mirror. This one is pretty damn awesome. And now I also take you closer up here because what is kind of cool at this with this shirt is that you have like these thingies here, but they also have buttons. On this side it is loose because I have not put this thing on. On the other side it is on so that you can see the difference. And here it is on. So that is pretty cool in my opinion that they have included this in this in this shirt. The other one has it as well. Wait, do all the shirts have it? Because that's now like the, the story twist. I have already ordered a lot of shirts from this company. They are called Cotton Dew and they make a lot of crazy shirts. So I will just give you a little sneak peek in my yeah shirt section. So the first one I found from them was this red one called For Sale. And there you also see like that's the first time I really got in contact with them. It has like a number, cotton dew. Then I have this other one which is kind of crazy, which is like very, very colorful and also very experimental. Just like the one I bought right now, just with bigger cubes. Um, which one is from cotton dew here? This one as well is from cotton dew. It's like the light from houses. And then we have this nice little greenish one, which really is cool in summer. But I think they don't have that thingy there. This one doesn't, this one doesn't, and also these two don't. Yeah, so they have at least, that's, that's probably something new that they have created on their shirts, which is definitely a pro, I love it. With that said, guys, I think that is the end of the video. What do you guys think about these shirts? Do you like them? Do you think like, well, not my style, but good for you? And what do you think, yeah, which one is better? Do you like this one, kind of disco vibe, or do you like the one with all the cameras on there? I have to say I like the one I'm wearing right now a bit more. I feel more normal with this. This gives me a lot of attention, in my feeling at least. Probably it's the other way around, but... Okay, well, enough said for now. I hope you had a wonderful day. We're going to see each other back on Sunday, but until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.